Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Precious Chimex. If you're meeting me for the first time, I'm Precious Chimex. If you're my returning subscriber, I want to say a very big thank you. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to keep a man and bring him home. <laughs> very interesting topic. You know, some people say that their husband hardly comes home. This woman is holding him back. Someone is holding him back. He has a girlfriend. He has a side chick. You have a role to play as a wife. You know, when you were doing everything that your husband needs, I don't think he will go outside because you have all it takes to keep him in your house. So what am I saying? Number one, you need to be submissive. Yes, you need to be submissive. You, need, you know, so when you choose, if you choose that man, that he is your husband, so you got to be submissive to him. You need to submit to him. So making, making the right choice is very, very important in choosing a spouse. Because when you choose the right person, then you have no choice than to submit to him. Number two, give him peace of mind. No man that doesn't want peace. If there is peace in the house, you see him running back home. It is natural. It is very, very natural. It works like magic. When you give your husband, your hobby, that peace that he deserves in his house, you will see him running back home. Wherever he is, he wants to come home. He will miss you. Number three, stop nagging. Yes, nagging. Because even the Bible condemns a nagging wife. So you need to stop nagging. Don't nag. Not, not whenever he's around. You want to complain. You want to shout. You want, you want to make him unhappy. And when he is not finding that peace at home, you will see him running out. So make sure you don't nag. Yes, stop nagging. Stop nagging. Don't nag. Stop complaining. Yes, you need to stop complaining. Talk to him in a sweet voice. Talk to him in a way that he will understand. Definitely he will keep running back home without, without hesitating. Yes, you need to stop nagging. Number four, respect him. Yes, he's your husband. You will respect him. Give him that maximum respect. Respect your husband is very, very important. He married you. He paid your dar. Yes. He's your God on earth. You have a God in heaven, but your husband is your God on earth. So respect him. Then number five is what? Food. I said what? Food. You heard me? <laughs> that one. <laughs> if you know how to cook, your husband will come back home. Have you know get her? See, let me tell you, eh, the thing we're not supposed to understand this day, the fastest way to a man's heart is through his belly. Yeah, that's the fastest way to his heart. So you need to know how to cook. Make him his breakfast, his lunch, and his dinner. You see him running home, even when he's hungry. The fr a friend says, let's go to this restaurant. He said, no, my wife's preparing my favorite at home. You see him running home, he wants to come and eat his wife's favorite food. You see your husband, after work, he's running home. No matter whatever he does, he wants to go home. He wants to meet his wife at home. He wants to eat his wife's food. So food is number one. Number one. Yes. <laughs> so guys, if you want to keep your man, you want to keep your husband. Not boys, so there are men that are still boys. I'm talking about real men, real men, husband. Yes, husband, not boyfriend, husband. So if you want to keep them, you have to hold on to this point I gave you. It is very, very beneficial. It is very, very effective. It works like magic. Yes. So guys, we get to stop here. Please do well to subscribe. Turn on the bell. Don't forget to like and comment. See you guys in my next video. Bye!